Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel. And today's build is 23,419. Well, in this build, Microsoft announces a few new features and we also see some more glimpses of the new file explorer that is currently in works by Microsoft. In this video, of course, we're gonna talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this newest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Before starting the video, a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by KeysOff.com. If you're looking for a place to get Windows 10, Windows 11 or Office licenses at a very good price, you can check the KeysOff sale. For example, you can get the Windows 10 Pro license for just $7 by using the coupon code TB50 and you can also upgrade for free to Windows 11. By using the coupon code TB50, you can also get Windows 11 for just $13. Office licenses have have a even better discount with 62% off by using the coupon code TB62. Check out the great prices from keysoff.com and the links from the description below and don't forget to apply the coupon codes. First of all, what you need to note about this build is that Microsoft is also releasing ISOs so you can just go on the official Microsoft website, select the edition, of course the latest build, then again select your language, for example United States English, and then you're gonna have the Windows 11 Clan Insider Preview build 23419. Now talking about new features, first of all, Microsoft is adding the Create Live Kernel Memory Dumps in Task Manager. So if we're going to the Details tab and then just locate the System Service, you can just use the search box to search for it, right click on System, and you're going to have here Create Live Kernel Memory Dump File with Full Live Kernel Memory Dump, Kernel Stacks Memory Dump, and also Change Memory Dump Settings. So this is a new set of developer-focused features in Task Manager to aid the collection of Live Kernel Memory Dumps. And in addition to this, you also have some additional settings into the task manager settings and you can see them here, live kernel memory dump options, advanced, revert memory dump settings to defaults, abort if insufficient memory, capture hypervisor pages, include non-essential pages, and also capture user pages. So if you're a developer in Windows 11, I think this will be a very useful new feature for you. Related to the settings app, Microsoft is also adding the USB 4 settings page inside settings, blue Bluetooth and devices, USB, USB for hubs and devices. In this case, it is not enabled for me, but of course you're gonna have a screenshot to see how that would look. And also to have that new page, your system does need to support USB 4. And in this page, you're gonna have features such as view the tree of connected USB 4 hubs and devices, view attributes and capabilities associated with the USB 4 domain, copy the details into the clipboard so it can be shared with customer support or system administrators for troubleshooting. For the next feature that I'm gonna show you, I'm just gonna switch to the light theme or the light colors in Windows 11 and maybe you can guess why I'm doing that. Well, we're just gonna open up the file explorer. So as you can see here, we have the new hidden file explorer homepage. And as you can see, we have some different animations. Of course, this is still at a very early stage. A big shout out to Phantom Ocean 3 for showing me the IDs to enable this. Of course, you're gonna have his Twitter link in the pinned comment below if you want to learn more about hidden features earlier than others. So you can just follow his Twitter from that pinned comment. So there is not much that we can see from this, of course, but as you can see, we have some different animations. Of course, the file explorer is very buggy. As you saw, the file explorer just crashed, but that's no problem. It's good to see that Microsoft is continuing to work and implement new things in the file explorer. And in this build, we can see a very early preview at the new homepage from the file explorer. In the coming days, maybe I'm gonna make a different video in which I'll show you how to enable this and how to test this out for yourself. Yourself. But of course, a huge disclaimer, this is very buggy, very early, very unstable. We also have the cloud suggestion and simplified Chinese IDE. More info about that in the article below in the video's description. And also the new features for app defaults in Windows 11, as mentioned in a earlier blog post from Microsoft, are included in this build. And more info about that you're going to be able to find in the article below in the video's description. Regarding the start menu, Microsoft is trying out a small change with some Windows insiders, where the recommended section of the start menu is changed to for you. We also have the new glanceable VPN status show overlay over an active network connection into the system tray when connected to a recognized 
VPN profile. Now that will display in your system accent color. If you want to me to make an updated video on how to enable that new VPN icon, let me know in the comments below. Also, Microsoft is reminding us that they added the seconds in the system tray, even though this was a feature for a few builds now. But overall, that is a very nice feature. Regarding the search on the taskbar, once you have access to the new Bing, the search box on the taskbar will include a button that opens the Bing chat experience in Edge. If you don't have access to the new Bing, the search box on the taskbar will feature a dynamic search highlight button, and Microsoft is of course beginning to roll this out to insiders. In this build, the redesigned in-app help page and voice access introduced with build 23403 now includes all commands and the supplementary information accurately. Regarding the settings app, as part of the deprecation of Microsoft Support Diagnostic Tool, MSDT Travel Shooters, Microsoft have begun redirecting some of the troubleshooters found under Settings, System, and Troubleshoot, and in other areas of the OS to the new Get Help Troubleshooting platform. I think that is very, very useful. And also now pressing the Print Screen key will now open Snipping Tool by default. So if we were to test this out, I'm pressing the Print Screen button and the Snipping Tools is opening up. This can be turned off if you're using a third-party screenshot tool so we can just go to settings and then into accessibility and then keyboard and you have here this new option use the print screen key to open snipping tool and you can turn it off if you want talking about new features this is all there is to it in this build i think this is a pretty interesting one but now let's talk about a few fixes so for example some general fixes microsoft improved the experience on logon after booting up by reducing the performance impact of startup apps regarding the taskbar and system tray they fixed an issue that was causing narrator to read the position before the name on system tray icon a fix an issue causing the show hidden icons flyout to open behind things like OneNote flyout and live captions. And they also fixed an issue which could cause explorer.exe crashes related to drag and drop. Related to the search on the taskbar, they fixed a search crash from the last flight. And related to the file explorer, they fixed an issue which could cause explorer.exe to crash when opening home if certain content was visible in the recent section. They also made some improvements to the performance of loading file explorer in the case where there's a disconnected network drive visible in the navigation pane. Regarding the start menu, they fixed an issue where dragging content across an open start menu folder could cause a crash. Related to input, they fixed an issue where after using voice typing, your PC might not enter modern standby. Regarding live captions, they fixed an issue causing live captions to not work for Chinese traditional or on ARM64 devices. And the last fix is related to the task manager, they fixed an issue where some of the details in the performance page wouldn't display properly until you resize the window or changed pages back and forth. As I've said, this is all there is to it in this newest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel. If you want to learn more about the known issues in this build, you can check out the article below in the video's description. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase, until next time, have a nice day.